this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So look at this. Cardi B upset and bitter because Nicki Minaj, do we have a problem, was playing in the club. The DJ shouted her out and Cardi B and Offset and their people had a confused look on their face. They were trying to hide it, but you can see the bitterness right through them. Okay. And then on top of that, allegedly this DJ got beat up after, um, the club appearance. And then also Cardi B made an aggressive statement towards the DJ. <laughs> And anger, okay? Why would you say that to the DJ after he plays Nicki Minaj? That was a weird statement to make. It sounds like Cardi B and Offset were not too comfortable with Nicki Minaj's music being played in a club while they were there, okay? And then something happened to the DJ allegedly right after. And Barty Gang, a.k.a. Garbage Gang, they're not too happy that people were actually talking about this. And then on top of that, Cardi B also tweeted this. Run to your hood and tell them that, okay? Um, after news broke out that that DJ got beat up, but she has since deleted it. But I still got the screenshots, okay? And I can verify that she actually did tweet this because I looked. Bitterness and upset. Cardi B is still bitter about Nicki Minaj. Moving on to Danny Lay. Um, she apologized for that Yellow Bone record that she put out. Um, basically saying that it was an honest mistake and that she meant no harm by it. Um, I still don't really care. I'll be honest with you. I feel like she's doing that because um, she has music out. Why didn't you apologize when the song first came out? The song came out in 2020. We in 2022, okay? But since you need to sell that record, um, Dead to Me, you have to now act like you're sympathetic towards black women, okay? You made that song to diss Mimi, and you end up looking like the fool because the baby is still sleeping with Mimi and you, Okay, you just stop smashing um the baby once he beat up your brother, but you were still giving him the coochie. So you just look weak. Um, I have little to no respect for Danny Lay, and I don't care about her apologies. I still won't be streaming her music. Um, I feel no type of way about it. You made your bed and now you gotta lay in it. The sympathy train is completely over. I don't feel bad for Danny Lay, I feel bad for the children, okay? Because now, you know, her family is broken. You know, she may not have the baby around as much. I'm sure he's still an active parent. But, you know, one day her daughter will see everything that happened on the internet. Moving on to Drake and Future, their single, Wait For You, which was on um, Future's album, already is gold, okay? It's only been out for like a week and a week and a half. Is this payola? Okay, because at the end of the day, um, I don't hear anybody really talking about this record. I don't know if it's trending on TikTok. I did not see this record, Wait For You, trending on TikTok. Nobody's really doing dances to it. And then on top of that, this proves that Drake um, is definitely needed in Future's career. Okay. Future cannot survive without Drake. He had Drake on three of his singles on his album. And then on top of that, the most successful single has Drake on it. And now it's gold. Okay. So I kind of feel like, um, Drake definitely, um, is saving Future's career. And what would Future's career look like if he did not collaborate with Drake as often as he did? No shade. Fenty Beauty is coming to Africa, okay? Um, congratulations to Rihanna. 
I see a little debate happening on social media. Some people are saying that Selena Gomez beauty line is better than Rihanna's or is still as top tier as Rihanna's. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, I have not tried Selena Gomez um, beauty line. Neither have I tried Ariana Grande's. I did try um, Rihanna's and I will say this. I do not care for her skincare line, but the makeup is top tier. I did hear that the lingerie line that she has, Savage, um, the fabric is a little bit cheap. Okay. Um, but I don't really expect much. A lot of people say the same thing about Kylie Jenner's, um, swimsuit line and the same thing with Jada Wada, how the fabric is cheap. Um, and I think that it has a lot to do with budgeting. And of course, the fact that they have to make their money on the product. I feel like Rihanna's makeup line definitely changed the game. Um, now all these celebrities are copying Rihanna, but eventually Fenty Beauty won't be popping, okay? Everything runs in cycles. And I feel like when it comes to Rihanna, in five to 10 years, we may not be talking about Fenty Beauty, okay? Somebody else is going to have a Fenty line, and that's going to be popping too. Moving on to Wendy Williams. Um, she said that she is coming back in the fall. Um, I do not believe that. I think Wendy Williams wants to come back in the fall for her TV show. Um, but I don't know if that will happen. And I also feel like this when it comes to Wendy Williams. I feel like do less talking and just be about the action. If you're coming back in the fall, give people a week in advance notice and come back. You know, I feel like sometimes she's teasing the fans saying, oh, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. But then she doesn't. And I like Wendy Williams. I think that she's an icon. She's a legend. I don't watch her show like that, but I still think that she's an icon. Um, but I just don't feel like it's the same with Wendy Williams anymore. I feel like the only reason why she really wants to come back is because she doesn't want Sherry Shepard to replace her. And I don't think Sherry Shepard is going to do a good job replacing her. I feel like the um, ratings are definitely going to be low because Sherry Shepard, she's just not as messy as Wendy. And we need a messy host, okay? I honestly feel like Charlemagne the God would do very well at having his own um, daytime talk show. I know he has a nighttime talk show, but I feel like Wendy Williams should get Charlemagne the God to replace her instead of Sherry Shepard, but it's out of her control because she's not the producer on her own show. Okay, she has other people calling the shots. So with that being said, hopefully Wendy Williams gets better, but I don't really think that she's coming back. I think it's all a facade. She just doesn't like um, Sherry Shepard. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing day.